Welcome to DeepX 2015. In this video we'll introduce how you can easily design an excavation using DeepX uh, 2015 uh, and we'll look into a limited clear analysis method. To speed things up we'll use the model wizard. We'll keep English units. We'll create a limited clear analysis. For the uh, earth pressure, we'll use the FHWA approach. There's different options here for multiple supports. And we'll use the Caltrans methods from the California Trenching and Manual 2011. We'll click Next. We'll make a 30 foot excavation. We'll put an initial wall length of 35, excavation width 60 top of wall elevation 0 and we'll put the ground water elevation at minus 30 elevation right at excavation level we'll select an excavation with Tybex the Tybex inclined at uh, 20 degrees we'll put them at horizontal spacing of 6 feet we'll keep the default values for the free lengths click next We'll edit the soil types. Here we have the basic soil types that will be used in the borings. Let's specify 120 pounds per cubic foot for the first soil layer, an effective cohesion of 50 with a friction angle of 30. And we'll also use this S1. <coughs> we'll define this as a, as a sun. Change the unit weights to 125. Gamma T is above the water table, gamma dries up above. Let's put a 50 pounds per square foot cohesion there as well. And on the bond strength, I will put a 30 psi ultimate bond strength for tie bucks. <coughs> Click edit on the borings. We'll readjust the soil layer elevations. And here we can define the soil layers by top of layer. So we'll have zero of this fill layer. And let's go to minus 10 and specify layer S1. You can click edit here to edit the soil types. Click next. We'll create a soldier pile wall. Edit section data. Select soldier pile lagging. Change the spacing to 6 feet. And select uh, an HP, let's say 12 by 74. On the lagging, we can select the uh, thickness of the lagging, we can say 3 inch and lagging position right side inside flange this is what our wall looks like click next on the stages we'll specify the depth for the first support we'll put that 8 feet then the program automatically creates a support elevation click next we'll put a strip load let's say 0 0.4 kips per square foot 20 foot wide 2 feet behind the wall we'll use the US allowable stress design select OK and this basically has created our model for us now in order to make sure that we optimize the, the wall length automatically we'll go in the design tab select optimize wall embedment and we have the increments for the lengths as well as the required safety factor we're putting here 1.5 and an increment of 1 meter or of 1 foot on the yellow table we can see uh, the design codes that are being used for concrete, steel code limited equilibrium methods uh, specifying here that we're using multiple supports uh, and that we're also using the Caltrans supports as well and the driving pressures behind the wall FHWA the resisting are passive. So we'll press to calculate the selected design section. The program comes up with a summary and here we can see that we have a overstress on the wall on the moment so we're requiring a heavier section as well as we're overstressing the the supports, the tie backs, we can see the results for one design section as well on a stage by stage basis where we see that the last stage is the most critical 
we can click exit <coughs> and here we can see the moment envelope we can move the mouse on top of it the capacity the tieback if we click RSTR here we can see the stress checks on the tiebacks we can go from stage to stage and we can see that the program came up with a 15 foot wall embedment now we can optimize the whole excavation by selecting optimize and say optimize design section select the S we're going to be waiting for a few minutes the program is looking at all available steel sections and it's going to pro propose the 10 most effective uh, steel beam sections for our soldier pile now one of the things that we have to keep in mind is uh, that we always have to look at the displacements that are being produced so even though your, the program is optimizing your steel section you still have to make sure that uh, the displacements that will be produced are uh, within uh, your tolerances and uh, that you don't induce any unwarranted settlements so now the program is proposing the 10 most effective sections we could pick a W18 by 65 here and we see that the stress check is 0 0.978 or we could go with a W18 by 76 if we want to keep it a little bit safer. So let's select the W18 by 76. Or we can go with a W18 by 71. When we select it, the program summarized the analysis here uh, with the optimization of the tiebacks as well as uh, the lengths for the tieback. So now the tieback lengths increase to 35 feet based at least on what we have specified and uh, the wall has changed again so if we double click on the wall we see it's a W18 by 71 now that the steel section has changed the passive widths on the wall have changed as well so this will be might be an iterative process we press select the design again Calculation successful. We're seeing all our stress checks for the supports and for the wall. And this tells us that we are pretty much fine. Now you could tweak some things if you want to increase your level of comfort. You can see the soil pressures here as well. And also by playing out with the effective width, effective flange, you can change the length of the pile. So if, if we change here to an HP14 section, uh, which has a wider flange than the W18 we might find out that the required wall embedment is actually less or smaller you can go to report click inside here select the sections that you want to include I always recommend including in your results the state sketches with the results so you can take that and drag it it's already in here you can select preview export to PDF, export to Word so this is a preview of the report here with main summaries envelopes and so on and one of the things that I like are the stage sketches with for every stage which we included in the last section which shows displacements soil stresses water pressures moments and so on for every stage thank you for watching this video uh, please feel free to contact us if you have any questions